beautiful people. Psychic Debbie here. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or evening. Thanks to all the beautiful people that are connecting. I've got a lot of people connecting from all over the states. We were talking about Washington when I used to live in Spokane and California and Northern California and Texas and all kinds of places. So thank you for connecting. I'm going to be talking about lighthouse and its spiritual meaning and you being a lighthouse. So people are going, hmm, what does she mean by that? <laughs> well, the reason I did this, again, like I always say before on my other uh, beautiful you know, YouTube videos, Spirit is showing me three lighthouses. So I, you know how you have the automatic thing on your computer, a lighthouse. It was a lighthouse coming up on TV. It was just like, it kept on seeing lighthouses. So I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to talk about a lighthouse. Okay, so, and the and spiritual meaning of a lighthouse and you being a lighthouse or a light worker. Yay! <laughs> Someone says, I think I'm more of a foghorn. Foghorn, leghorn, right? Okay, so... <clears throat> why are we called light workers? And I think I'm going to give you the answer after the show, right? Because of a lighthouse. And have are you drawn to lighthouses? Are you drawn to the beam of light or seeing the light at the end of the tunnel? And what does it represent for you? Why are you searching for the light? Are you, maybe you are the light, right? So we're we're going to discuss this. We're going to discuss this. But first, I got to do my little buttons. So my husband did these beautiful um, buttons for me. So I want to thank all my clients that have come to me for readings. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for letting me do this for you. I had some beautiful readings today. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I really, truly appreciate letting me do this for you at this time. Also, I want to remind you that I have 20% off all my readings and classes. The price has already changed, but uh, a lot, I mean, really good information and readings and classes, 20% off. It's a great deal. It's a fantastic deal. Okay, so uh, I'm going to click onto this thing over here. Hi, everybody again. Okay, so Lighthouse. You being a lighthouse is helping many going through difficult times, right? If you are a lighthouse, if you you are connected to being a lighthouse or connected to being a beam of light or being in the light at the end of the tunnel or even having a, um, a, a near death where you saw the light or sparkling sparkles of light, I think this will all kind of pertain to that, okay? But I really wanted to know why I was so drawn to the lighthouse. And then after I went through this, what I wrote down, the information, it just kind of makes me go, oh, I understand now. I understand. So thank you, beautiful people. Okay, so if you are con uh, considered like a lighthouse, do you feel like you're a landmark? Do you feel like you're a landmark? These are questions to ask yourself if you're a light worker or a lighthouse, okay? Because I feel like the lighthouse represents a light worker. So do you feel like you're a landmark? Do you feel like you have uniqueness about you? Oh, my glasses are kind of... So do you have a uniqueness about you? Is there something that you can give to the world? And I'm not saying that you have to give. You can receive. Is there things that you can receive that is unique? Okay, so some people it's music. Some people it's what they perform. They're a doctor. Or there's uniqueness of the way they express themselves and that helps other people to express themselves. So connect to your uniqueness, connect to your uniqueness. Um, do you love helping others? And do you like, do you love giving guidance to other people? Do you love giving to others? And I, I don't, you know me, I'm always saying you don't have to give to receive and I don't want you to over give, but these are just questions to ask yourself if you're a lighthouse. Okay. So, do you, do you or will you help others or guide other, others? Uh, Georgie says, I'm a giver. Yes. But ask yourself, are you giving too much, right? Also, we know since ancient time, lighthouses have been showing you the warnings. So do you connect to the warnings? Do you connect, do you connect to your insight? Do you connect to that gut feeling? Do you acknowledge that gut feeling? That's another thing. Do you acknowledge your gut feeling? Do you um, 
acknowledge like the little beams of light? Do you question it or you just kind of poo poo it and just go, yeah, I saw a light. I saw an orb. I saw whatever. I'm not really connected to it. Okay. So is there's a connection? Are you at the space right now of connecting to the light? And are you connecting to what information it wants to give you? Are you asking? Are you receiving? Okay. So being a lighthouse, being a light worker is not just about giving. It's about also receiving the information and connection to the other dimensional realm. Okay. So I'm from New Zealand. Oh. Um, Louis, um, Louis says, I'm a big giver and always want to help. Yes. Beth says, I'm definitely a giver. Okay, so, and Pink says, this so resonates with me. Thanks. Okay, <clears throat> so do you have faith, not the religion faith, do you have faith that you can bring safety to not only yourself, but to other people? Okay, and that could be, I mean, I, I get it that that's a big, long question, and that can go from that extreme to that extreme, but do you provide safety? Do you feel like your security? Do you feel that you're a soft place to fall for family members, friends, yourself, clients, um, people of the world. So do you not only bring safety to you, but bring safety to other people and showing them the way, showing them the light? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> so um, Kimberly says yes. Uh, T. Rose says yes. Uh, Becca says yes. Michael says absolutely. So that's telling you you're a lighthouse. And maybe even when you're seeing the lighthouses, it's going to be information. Maybe you need to, to open up your light. Maybe that there's a, a situation around you that you're supposed to help people. Or maybe there's a, a information that you're supposed to receive. Always connecting to the light is not just the answer, but it helps you helping others and helping yourself. Okay, so a Japanese proverb says darkness reigns at the foot of the lighthouse. So what we're going through in the world right now, there's the darkness, but it's always the darkness, always the waves, always the thunder, always the lightning is around the lighthouse. But does it move? Does it, does, is it in fear? Is it in worry? Or is it in doubt? No, it is always stable, right? It's safety, it's security. So being a lighthouse or being a light worker, you have to be in the confidence of the safety and being secure, knowing that you are there, even though the waves and the fear is raining at your feet. Okay. Um, I give warning and I foresee if someone or a company is headed in the, in the direction which will cause trouble. Yes. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> George, he, sorry, to, uh, no one listens to me though. Well, that's okay. That's their choice. That's their choice. You can tell them, but you don't need to force someone to hear. If they're not ready to hear or ready to see, then um, I mean, it, it, it won't work anyways, right? It won't work anyways. There's numerous of things that have happened in my life and I'm like, why am I seeing it? And no one else has seen it. And spirit goes, because they're not ready to see my dear, or they're not ready to hear, or they're not ready to speak their truth yet. Okay. So just be there, be their soft place to fall. It's fantastic, Georgie. It was fantastic. Okay. So a lighthouse or a light worker always works in the darkness. We always work in the storm. If you're like, oh, I always want to be in the calm and where there is no fear, worry, and doubt, and there's no storm and there's no, you know, the ways. I mean, I love it. I love it. I want to own a <laughs> lighthouse. You know what I mean? I, I want that to, um, what is it? The, the, um, one that's off on Oregon and that's out in the ocean. I want to own that lighthouse. I mean, I love the waves. When I see a lighthouse and it's got the storms and the big waves over it, I'm like, woohoo! I wish I was there. So a light worker lighthouse is always going to be in the storm, even when it's in the calm, because the future, you're going to see the future. The lighthouse is seen over the ocean and it knows when to turn on its light and when not to, right? And even if it's on 24 seven, it seems to be brighter in the darkness. Your light is always brighter in the darkness. Think about that. Think about that. When we are true to our light, we don't need to tell anyone for they will see your light shining. Should I say that again? If we are true to our light, we don't need to tell anyone for they will see you shining bright. 
They will see your light. They will be in the, in the vibration and they'll be in the space that you are. They'll be in the vibration and the space of where you are also. And if they're needing your help or you're wanting to help them or they're wanting to receive, give to you, it, it, I mean, your light will always shine. Your light will always shine, okay? Dragon Gal says, I love that scene. Isn't it true? It's, I mean, I think it's beautiful. So just you being you will help so many showing the light, just being the lighthouse, just be having the light on. You don't know how far away that someone's noticing that light. Even if it's a speck, even if it's a drop, they're going to notice that your light and they'll be drawn to you. They'll be drawn to you. Showing their worth, shining a light on them is showing them their worth, their worth. You're putting the light on them. And some people don't want the light on them. They're like, don't put the light on me. I don't want to be, I don't want to be noticed. And it's like, why? Why aren't you allowing the acknowledgement? So shining your light is not only acknowledging you, but it's acknowledging other people too. That's being a light worker. That's being a light worker. Okay. Um, um, Hannah says, I keep seeing lighthouses lately. And now this show shows up in, in my recommendations. <laughs> Fantastic. So it's something that you need to hear, right? <clears throat> so I've been told by a few people, I light up the room when I walk in. Fantastic, Martha. Fantastic. I love that. Be that light. Beam it bright. Beam it bright. Okay. Beam it bright. Okay. Showing their worth. Showing them that there is at the end of the tunnel, right? Well, like what's going on in the world right now? I'm, I just keep on feel like I'm being in the space and watching it. I'm not being in the fear, worry, and doubt of it. I hope that you aren't either that you know that you are the light and that you're going, that you can go through the storm, you can go through the lightning, you can go through the waves and that your light will still shine. Your light will still shine. And like I said, even brighter, even brighter. Okay. So, and it also a lighthouse when you're beaming the light shows not only your worthiness, but other people's worthiness, right? It shows worthiness. So, and if you want to receive in any form, if we're a healer or for a light worker or for um, intuitive or psychic, we're spiritual beings, we need to be acknowledged and we need to know that we are worthy also. When we're shining a light on you, we want you to know that you are worthy and that we love putting the light on you and not to, to you know, oh, don't, don't shine the light on me. It's like, you know, God, you know, isn't there a song like that? <laughs> but anyways, okay. You being a lighthouse will show others, even in difficult times, that, there's a, that there is a light that will shine on us always. You being a lighthouse will show others in difficult times, like right now, there's a lot of people that are thinking this is a very difficult time for them. So you shining the light on them, that it's, you're kind of showing them the end of the tunnel. You're, you're putting the light on them that, that, that this light will always be bright, no matter what you're going through, but I'm here for you. I'm here for you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now I understand why I always have strangers and coworkers come up to me, always wanting to talk to me and tell me their worries. Always. When you're a light worker or a lighthouse, always, right? You could be a thousand people and they be keep on going, you know, <laughs> they'll be like, yeah, let me talk to you. It's like, uh, <laughs> you know, so um, Beverly, Debbie Griggs, your message is on point. We need this message just before we go into the three days of darkness. No fear, no fear, only light manifestation, right? And it's going into Easter, right? It's going into Easter. There was the darkness of the three days, but he was risen and he risen, right? He rises. Okay, sometimes the universe places you in darkness, not only to let you shine, but so you have an understanding of what other people are going through. Okay, so when you're a light worker, sometimes the universe places you or a lighthouse when you, um, that's just a, res a representation of you, you know what I mean? A metaphor. Sometimes the universe places you in darkness, not only to let you shine, but so you have an understanding of others and help them clear the path for them so that they can shine also. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? That spirit is showing, telling me that. To know that you are worthy as a light worker and to be that you can always be the light in the darkness. You do not have to turn off your light unless you want to, okay? To help others to shine and clear the path for others 
not only for yourself, but for others. And that is not being an ego. That is just being a lighthouse. It's being a, that the lighthouse isn't going, give me something because I'm lighting your path. You know what I mean? It's not doing anything. It's just acknowledging here's a safe way to go. Us like workers are showing you the safe way to go. We are trying to help you. We're not doing for you. We can't do it for you. We don't have the magic wand to go bing, but we can help you light your path. We can help you understand the darkness. We can put a light on it and figure it out for you, right? We can figure it out for you. Because <clears throat> I love, love, love helping people finding the darkness, finding the root cause, and then we can release it so that they can that you can let the light shine on you even more and that the darkness goes away. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So the three days of darkness is something David Wilcock has been talking about, shutting down the phones, internet, so they can make a mass, mass arrest. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but okay, whatever. All right, never wonder why you're placed in darkness. For never, listen to this, never wonder why you are placed in darkness. For you might be the only light. For you might be the only light. Okay, so don't wonder why you're there. And a lot of times it's for you, but it's always for someone else because you might be the only little light that is in the darkness of the storm. And, and we know that if you connect to a higher vibration or positive, what people would say is positive, and you're being in the positive and you're, you're bringing that out into the world and other people connect to it and then they're in the positive and then they're in the positive and then they're in the positive and the darkness has to go away because the more the lights are shining the more the darkness I mean it can only be a shadow and sometimes it's your light is so bright there's not even a shadow because we are all connected together and if we all lit our, our light just being in divine love if we sent if we filled our home, home up with divine love and light just in our home, just in our own being, and every person did that in this world, we would not be in the space that we are in now, right? We would be in happiness, we'd be in joy, we'd be in health, we'd be in wealth, we'd be in peace, we'd be in acknowledgement. I mean, just think what would happen if everybody shined their light and not compete and judge. Just think about it. So when you're a light worker, shine your light. And I'm not saying to force it, and not to sit there and give, 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 give. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about just be your unique, beautiful, loving people that you are. And just be in the confidence of who you are. And with you lighting that and allowing other people to do the same thing, just the whole world would be always lit up. It would be all, we'd all be floating in this love. We'd be in joy. I mean, I'd love it. I'd love it. Okay, <clears throat> again, the darkness that people are saying that is going on. I'm not believing it is darkness, but I, um, nothing is an accident. Let's put it that way. Nothing is an accident. The universe really knows what it's doing. And if you can have the faith of that, not the religion faith, but the faith of that, that you are in the darkness or that you are the light for numerous of people and you are the light worker, you're the lighthouse, you don't know what ship is coming through or what ship is going to go come by right and you don't know how long it's going to take for the ship or the darkness to come by but it will always go by it will always this too shall pass right this too shall pass okay so um um tr tr uh, totally agree debbie okay so you are placed in these storms not only for you but for others the world this is true for a true light worker. A lighthouse, now listen to this, a lighthouse, which would be all you, that doesn't allow its light to shine is way more dangerous than the reef and the storm that you would go through. Listen to that. A lighthouse that doesn't allow its light to shine, you being the light worker, if you're not allowing your light to shine, is more dangerous more fear, more worry, more doubt than, than the reefs and the storm that you would be going through. Think about that one. When you are in your truth and purpose, you will, you will be in the light 
and you will be in the darkness, but you will let the darkness go through and you will not be in fear. You will not be in fear. Okay. You will be in the faith and you'll be in the space of allowing. Okay. So you will, you will always have a little bit of the fear. Like I said, the lighthouse, it's on the rocks. A lot of times the lighthouses are on the rocks and the waves are going through it and da, 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 da. But is the lighthouse going, Ooh, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. It's going, I'm, I'm in the comfort I am and I'm going to shine my light on you and keep on going. But I'm standing here. I'm in the confidence of who I am and I'm, I'm still going to shine my light for others so they can see their path. Right? Right. So when you're in your truth, when you shine in your light, you're in your truth, you're in your purpose. And whatever way that you want to do it, if it's grooming dogs, being a doctor, taking the garbage, be a garbage man, be in a construction where it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a, this high vibrational um, occupation. It could be doing the arts. It's doing poetry, singing. I mean, I could just go on and on and on and on. But if you are in the confidence of that and that's your light, right, you're going to be able to get through the storm. You can be able to get through the storm because you're shining your light. If you're in the fear, worry, and doubt, you're uh, like, I've, I've said this numerous and numerous of times. You're probably tired of me saying it, but this is a like attract like world. And you will just keep on saying to the angels and the guys and everybody, bring me some more to worry about. Right. And then you're going to be in the vibration of that. And you're going to attract people that are in the fear, worry, and doubt. Excuse me. They make my nose itch. Okay. Um, a lighthouse represents security, guidance, truth. To be in that time, be in that time. So um, a lighthouse is a secure place when going through the storm, right? You can go, excuse me, God, they're making my nose itch. <laughs> um, a lighthouse is a secure place. When you're going through the storm, you can go inside. So when you go within, right? When you go within and you're in the confidence of who you are, being a light worker or being the lighthouse, right? You feel secure and you're feeling the comfort and the storm's going through and you're like, can't get me because I'm inside. I'm being in the truth of who I am. I'm being in the confidence of who I am. The rain. So like if you're dreaming it or you're foreseeing this, the rain and the waves represent, represents your emotions. So if you're like in this, in this space right now, what's going on in the world, and you're like, I, I just feel uneasy and I, I am having a lot of emotions and um, I, I, the wave and it's just raining and I feel like I'm being puppeted. That's your emotions. So ask your emotions. What are you in fear of? What are you in worry about? What are you doubting? Okay. These are good questions to ask being the light worker that you are. Okay. The air, the wind represents you, your thoughts, which to keep and what to let go. The air represents your thoughts. And you could say, um, um, what is it that I need to keep? And what is it that I'm, I need to let go? Which ones are, which ones are, are going to be the light worker? What is the ones that are going to be able to shine the light on people and on for me? Uh, yes, it's Char Wright. Thank you. It's an angel, angel stone. I think I have a video on that. So if you want to check it out, <laughs> <clears throat> um, Debbie, is, is it the emotion or the ego to ask? It's the emotion. The ego, it will always be in the fear, worry, and doubt. And if you ask the ego, you are always going to get an answer that is going to represent fear, worry, and doubt. Because ego is fear, worry, and doubt. So ask the emotion. Whose emotion is it? And why am I having this emotion? Is it because I've been watching TV all day and all they do is focus on the negative? They're not focusing on the thousands and millions of people that have been cured or they're just focusing on the five that died. You know what I mean? It, look at your emotions. Why are you having these emotions? Okay. Um, Lori says, absolutely on target, Debbie. Thank you. Okay. The rocks represents the fear, worry, and doubt it, or the unbalancing, right? The rocks represent you being unbalanced and you, it can be the security of the lighthouse, right? If you have, if you're having the confidence of your security and you're creating a great foundation and you're, I don't care if you believe in it or not, but if I'm in the belief of my confidence of my security, the rocks can represent fear, worry, and doubt. If you allow it to tilt the lighthouse, or it can be your structure where it can be your confidence and security, right? So asking 
if you're like dreaming of the rocks or you are you're feeling like um you're in the fear where you doubt it's like what is it representing is it what part of my security am i in fear of what part of my security is it my health is it my wealth is it my love it's because a lot of truth is being shown right now right people's marriages are going to be shown um you're with them 24 7. your children are going to be showing there it's like am i a good mother or not a good mother or father or your family a lot of truth is going to be shown so are you connected to that emotion or are you connected to the security of no i i know this too shall pass and i'm insecure and i i am secure not insecure i'm secure i'm the lighthouse and i'm beaming not only the light for me but for other people <clears throat> so how to deal with those trying to dim your light no validation acknowledgement ignoring your con contra contributing um how do you deal with those know that that's their truth and that it's not your truth and that their perception of you and them not acknowledging you has nothing to do with you it has to do with them because they're probably in the fear worry and doubt and hoping that you can join in their little da -da 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 I need someone to worry with me. Come with me. They don't want to acknowledge your confidence if they're not ready to see it or hear it. So just send them divine love. Send them divine love. Send them divine love. Okay. Um, <clears throat> absolutely, Debbie. I overcame C19. I believe in mental strength is a big part of overcoming it. And so true. So true. When you have your light on, true love, joy, and confidence can only come to you. When you have your light on, it will, it will attract truth, love, health, happiness, joy. When only when you have your light on. When you have your light off, you can't attract that. You can't attract it because it doesn't know where to go. You're not shining your light, right? Um, you will overcome the storm. You will even honor them. So when you are going through the storm, honor the storm. Acknowledge the storm so that it can't hang on to you right? Acknowledge the storm and it's seeing what it's trying to teach you. What is the lesson that it's trying to teach you? Where the lighthouse is placed represents the strength and the endurance. I can handle any storm. So if you're having a dream of a lighthouse and if it's on a solid foundation, then it's, it's showing you your strength. You are endurance. If you're a lighthouse, you're, if you know I'm a light worker and I'm a lighthouse and I'm in the confidence of that, that's going to represent your strength. That's going to represent your endurance. That's going to represent I can handle anything. And at the time I'm even handling this, I'm going to shine a light for you too. And you can't make people follow your light though. That's the whole thing. Um, like the other person was saying, um, I'm not going to acknowledge. You can't make anybody think what they're thinking or feel what they're feeling. I say that all the time too. And my little group that follows me all the time hears me say that. So just shine your light. And if they are um, willing to accept it, fantastic. But that goes the other way around too. If someone's shining the light on you and you're like, oh, don't, oh, no, I'm not going to say, you know, um, you're welcome. Here, I want to give you some light, Debbie. I want to give you some light. And if I'm like, no, 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 really? Then you're not allowing the gifts of the world either. You're not allowing your strength, your endurance, your confidence and being a light worker, okay? Um, <clears throat> oh, perfect. I just acknowledged my own storm of emotions. I had to deal with a lot. I just wasn't acknowledging my negative polar aspect of my emotions. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. The circular building tower represents the spiritual enlightenment to rise above the storm, the rocks, the wind and the waves. So the building represents the spiritual enlightenment rising up to the storm and that I can shine my light, right? The light isn't down below where you can't see it. It's above where you can see the light so that it's not only for you, but for other people. So it's a spiritual enlightenment. The higher the light, the higher the uh, enlightenment. Light rays represents your third eye. So the lighthouse light rays represents your third eye. So it's for seeing. It's going to see all the ships and, and it's going to see the storm. It's going to see the waves. It's going to see the rain. And you're going to see the light even through the storm, right? So it's for seeing. The, the light beam is representing your third eye. It's representing the future. It's allowing our truth to shine. It will guide us. It will guide not only you, but only your, yourself also. So you have to allow your light to shine because otherwise 
you're not going to see. You're not going to be able to see, right? If you're in darkness, hello, you can kind of feel your way, but that's about it. And you can be really good at that. So shining your light and being the third eye, it brings calm. It brings security to you. No matter what the storm, if we go inward, we will be secure and our truth and light will within call and shine. It will help us acknowledge our strengths, our purpose, our confidence. Okay. Going through a storm, going through a storm will always teach us a lesson. What lesson are you learning right now? What lesson are you learning right now? Or maybe you're teaching other people's lessons. Do you know? Maybe you're teaching other people um, to go through the storm or helping them. Okay? So, and I love doing that. I love, 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 love doing that. So, um, you know, psychicdebbie.com for a reading. Okay? What truths are rising right now? What truths are rising? Is your partner, you know, you're like, hmm, that truth is shining. Or your family. Is that truth shining? Your friends, your work. It's like, gosh, you know what? I can work from home. I don't want to do this job anymore. Or my true friends are shining or shining, right? What truth is show, being shown to you? Here's another question. What fears are rising? What fears are rising? And why are you having those fears? Release them. And I can help you with that too. I can help you release the fear. But not only that, be the light. This is the one thing I want you to get, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close off on this. Not only be the light for yourself, but for others. Let's each help each other light the path. Like I said, if we were all lighting our lights and we were all lighthouses and we were lighting the path of love and joy and happiness and health and wealth and prosperity and spirituality, wouldn't this be a beautiful place? And your life will be so much better and you will look at things so much better and you will vibrate in a higher vibrational plane and, and then you allow, you allow the gifts that the universe wants to give to you. Oh, you're beautiful people. I know you're beautiful people and I want to help you light your light or you just light it, just light it. And if you're lighting, shining your light at me, I accept it. I allow it. I'm in gratitude for it. I think it's wonderful. Okay. So I've got to let you go because I'm over time. I get it. This is kind of a different perspective of the lighthouse. But ask these questions. What lesson are you 